so-called Diagnostic and Statistical Manual is really anything but diagnostic, or statistical for that matter. What it is, is a book that contains thousands of symptoms that have a number to it. When you build an insurance company, you can't say the word. You've got to say a number. And they have numbers for the most ridiculous things. You know, like arguing with your mother, or peeing in the bed, or arguing with your sister. So the DSM is basically a, an arbitrary classification of thoughts, moods, and behavior decided upon by a committee of psychiatrists who are picked by uh, the American Psychiatric Association. They create this cluster disease, and they get together and they vote. Is this a disease? All in favor say aye. You know, if they have a majority vote or however they vote, they vote on this cluster of normal systems, of normal behaviors together, and they create these diseases. Each volume has grown by 15 or 20 new quote disorders, diseases, and, uh, and, and every time they have a patient in the office, they tell you that this new invented disease is a real disease. And that's the way they make a patient out of a normal person, out of a normal child, out of a normal infant even. What you have in psychiatry is a pseudoscience. It's not scientific at all. It is a diagnosis of fabrication. It's a fabricated illness. So now you, you have the psychiatrist wearing the mantle of MD, but it's a pseudo mantle because he doesn't do tests. He doesn't do blood tests. He doesn't do physical exams. If we just stop here and we step outside the biological brain disease model, and we look at the actual facts and the actual data, there are no facts and data supporting the brain disease model, and there's no facts and data supporting many treatments and many things that psychiatrists claim. There is not one shred of credible evidence that any respectable scientist would consider valid demonstrating that anything that psychiatrists call mental illness are brain diseases or biochemical imbalances. It's all fraud. It's bogus that you can even accurately identify who has the behavior of schizophrenia. It's bogus that you can tag it to genes. It's bogus that you can detect those genes through any kind of test. So the whole thing is basically bogus. So we can theoretically uh, find a way to drug every set of symptoms that, that's different from, from what we think should be normal. So we could have hundreds of different situations and diagnoses in the future in which we're attempting to drug. So you just extrapolate that over a couple generations and um, it, 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 it could be the, the fall of our civilization. We're spending millions, billions on the totally fraudulent contrivances of psychiatry. To me, this is a house of cards. And you can take off one or two cards at the top, but you can knock over the whole thing. I prefer knocking over the whole thing.